Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Jolene Morris, and in this screencast, I will show you how I prepare my make-ahead ingredient number one, cooked ground beef crumbles. This slide lists the 10 different keto ingredients I make ahead in bulk to save time and money when preparing my meals. This video is to explain make-ahead ingredient number one, cooked ground beef crumbles. Here are the recipe ingredients from my Make Ahead cookbook video. You'll notice that the only ingredient, other than water, is 2 to 5 pounds of ground beef. These are the instructions from my Make Ahead cookbook video. About half of my dinner recipes call for cooked ground beef, or the first cooking instruction is to cook the ground beef. So when ground beef is on sale, I'll buy up to 15 pounds or more and cook it in bulk, 5 pounds at a time. Thus, I cook my ground beef in bulk to save time and money when making those dinner meals. On step number 5, I usually cook the meat, whether frozen or not, for 18 minutes, so I'm sure it hits a temperature of at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I usually skip step number six. Let me show you how I cook ground beef in bulk. Unpackage five pounds of ground beef. Put about one cup water in the pressure cooker. And then insert the trivet into the instant pot. Break the meat into large pieces and place them into the pressure cooker. I'm allergic to latex so I use nitrile gloves to handle the meat. Nitrile gloves are purple. The reason I break up that meat into smaller pieces is so that while cooking the steam can circulate around the meat to cook it properly. This pound of ground beef looks a little different because it contains ground organ meat. Never fill the instant pot above the max fill line on the inner pot. Put on the lid and turn the valve to sealing. Cook on high for 18 minutes or until it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Follow that with a quick release. Turn the knob so you can release the steam and wait for the pin to drop at which time it's safe to open the lid. Check to be sure the cooked meat is at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Lift out the trivet with the ground meat and put that cooked meat into a large bowl. Using an OXO meat chopper, break the meat into crumbles. The original instructions say to cool the meat first in the refrigerator so it chops easier. I prefer to chop it right away instead. That's easier for me. As soon as all the meat was chopped, I removed two pounds of meat crumbles to prepare dinner tonight. I now want to put the remaining three pounds of cooked ground meat into one pound quantities using quart-sized zipper bags. Two full cups of crumbles make one pound. In order to seal the bags, I zip them about halfway. Roll out as much air as possible, and then finish sealing the bags. Remember that air and moisture are the two enemies of frozen food. Be sure to label and date the bags, and then put them in the freezer. They will be good for three to four months, but I'll use them before then. And there you have it. Make ahead ingredient number one, cooked ground beef crumbles. Thank you for joining me today for a demo on how I cooked ground beef in bulk. 
Next, you should watch this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.